We humans have been judging ourselves, others, and even the aesthetics or worth of inanimate objects around us since we developed the capacity to do so. Yet for some reason, there is a growing culture of people who demand that we stop judging others. And this culture is nothing new. People have been condemning the judgment of others for thousands of years. Yet by definition, judging is simply forming a conclusion or an opinion about someone or something. The problem with this is that forming conclusions and opinions is as necessary a mental process as any other. Our brain understands our environment by noting the differences between different bits of information that it receives. It's how we notice the difference between a cold day and a hot one. It's how we make a distinction between the pleasure of falling in love and the devastation of heartbreak itself. Could you imagine if someone was running towards you and screaming, I'm going to kill you, yet you were unable to form an opinion about whether or not this person is an imminent threat to your safety and well-being? Or better yet, could you imagine having a group of friends that are constantly doing illegal activities while you fail to notice that these so-called friends are a negative influence on you, one that might potentially leave you stuck in a prison cell or stuck inside of a casket? Being unable to make judgments about the people around us could potentially lead to catastrophic consequences. So why is there a subsection of people demanding that we do it voluntarily? Well, it might be helpful to try and see things from the perspective of someone who thinks it's bad to judge others. So it's at this point that we have to try and figure out why someone would think this way. Well, for starters, being overly judgmental comes with its own set of negative consequences. It makes it easy to jump to conclusions about others without taking other factors into consideration. And if you make it a habit to constantly judge everything around you, or even worse, negatively judge everything around you, you'll be constantly jumping to conclusions about everything. Judgment can be a tool that we use to assess something when we need to make a subjective decision. We can't always rely on facts because we don't always have facts. But when we see someone we just met and we decide five minutes into a conversation that they're no good because of the hairstyle they have or the music genre that they enjoy listening to, then we're in for real trouble. Because part of the reason that people talk about being non-judgmental has nothing to do with never making any judgments, and a lot to do with how you decide to judge. The problem isn't deciding that your friends who were doing illegal activities were negatively impacting your life. The problem is assuming that they are complete evil and using one or two judgments to define them as a person. We all know that the human condition is an imperfect one, so deciding that any one person is either just good, bad, neutral, or can be completely reduced to one judgment is completely wrong. Not because I'm morally awesome and want a virtue signal on YouTube, but because people, peacocks, paintings, and just about anything else that can be judged will always be more complex than the judgments we make about them. Not to mention the fact that judgments are for the most part subjective and are therefore liable to be wrong when looked at from one perspective or another. So in hindsight, I guess the more obvious truth here is not that we shouldn't judge, but rather it's that we shouldn't reduce people or anything else to mere opinions.